Alright, welcome back everyone to the second video. Again, in the first video, I talked a little bit about uh, finding data, right? So we went and we got our Excel sheet that we're going to need to turn in here and uh, let's see, just about a week, at least from when I'm making the, you know, this video currently. Um, anyway, and we went and we found this data. And so in my second video here, I wanted to talk a little bit about the refining process. Uh, and how I would refine this data that I have here. And then also, right, I have some missing data. I couldn't figure out uh, working hours per week for China, for India, right? So I, I have quite a few that's, uh, that are missing here. And so I wanted to, first of all, talk a little bit about your options, right? If you chose some metrics that you, it turns out that you can't find a lot of data for, right? So this is, uh, quite a few are actually missing here. Let's see, there's a grouping of seven there, eight, nine. I have nine missing ones. Your first option that you have is that you don't have to stick with the metrics uh, that you turned in uh, on that pink sheet you can actually choose a different metric. So one option that I would have is that I'd say, okay, uh, this really isn't worth it. This one was kind of just a fun one anyway. It wasn't gonna be worth that much, right? I could go ahead and decide to find a different metric to use, one that has more data, and then I wouldn't have to go through this next process. But uh, let's assume, right, that I, I am going to stick with this. Uh, that I would like, that I really believe that working hours per week influences a country's happiness, uh, and so I would like to stick this out. Uh, and what do you do in that case? And essentially, the answer is, well, Google search, right? I mean, I could check this other website and whatnot, but we're going to go ahead and do some Google searches here. Uh, how many hours uh, do, okay, do Chinese work? All right, well, I guess I can try this. Uh, okay, for most China employees, okay, it means a 40 hour a week. So basically you can see that you're just basically going to do a little bit of research, right? You may also want to go back to your website here, oops, I guess it was this one that I had open, and figure out exactly is this working hours per week, what is that number, right? Where exactly does that come from? And so if you click on it here, you can figure out the about, right? It may tell you a little bit more definition. Uh, so it's the total amount of yearly working hours that's supposed to be divided by 52 weeks. So it seems maybe like this is an average or something like this. Nothing really in the footnotes. Here's the data. All right, so total divided by 52 weeks. So that gives me actually another idea here. So instead of maybe instead of doing this country specific, uh, how many hours do, uh, let's, uh, how many working, uh, let's say, how many working hours per year by country? And let's just see if anything comes up for this. Uh, okay, who works the most hours every year? Okay, so here, maybe this is something with a nice little infographic and all that sort of stuff. And, okay, I don't see any China on here, but maybe there are some countries that I was missing. Okay, so for instance, we have Mexico, we have South Korea. Let's see if I was missing any of those. So if I go back here, oh, South Korea I was missing. Uh, Mexico I apparently found out. So let's go ahead and grab that South Korea data. You can see that uh, this isn't exactly formatted the same uh, that I would like it. To be, but I can go ahead and do a quick calculation, right? So, okay, South Korea, this is every single year, uh, or, uh, for the entire year, so that's 2,113. So let's go back here. So I'm going to do a formula. I'm going to do equals to 2,113, and then I'm going to go ahead and divide that by the 52 weeks per year. So I'm going to go ahead and divide that by 52, and we get over 40 hours a week. So I can go ahead and convert this, even though it was for a, a total for the entire year, I can go ahead and convert that. So you can see that this is essentially the process that we're gonna go through to figure out all of these numbers. So again, I'll use a little uh, editing magic here. All right, and so with that, we have all of our data. Again, this one took me a bit to actually do all the Google searches, and even then, I don't know, I still had a hard time finding for China. So maybe this is where I would, uh, you know, write in my limitations and whatnot. I got like a big spread of uh, data. I just kept on looking at different websites 
uh, right? And so I decided to go with 40 at the end of the day. It's from the most like credible website, but I mean, this took a bit. All right, and now let's go ahead and transition into this refinement period, right? Okay, how are we going to refine these numbers in order to make sure, right, that these weights right here are actually the things that are really dictating, right, uh, how much each one of these categories is worth, right? Because obviously these numbers are a lot larger right here than these numbers, so we would like them to be kind of on equal playing fields to some extent. Uh, so, okay. Let's go ahead. I usually like to get my refinements to be like out of a hundred total. Um, and one cool thing that I've noticed that if you just like highlight this, uh, right, it tells you a little bit of the, um, some information down here. So sum and count and all that sort of stuff, average. So it's around 40. Uh, let's actually just skim here and figure out what is our biggest one. I think 45. Right, 45. So that's around our biggest one. So if I wanted this to be around, you know, I'm going to bring it so it's it all spans between zero and a hundred, sort of deal. Of course, you can't really work negative hours per week. Uh, 45s are biggest here. So maybe to get it closer to a hundred, I'm going to go ahead and just multiply by two. So I'm going to go ahead and take whatever we had back here, and then I'm going to multiply it by two. So I did the equals two, and then I selected the cell, and I did multiply by two. And you can see it's pretty smart. If you just double click this, it, like it does them all. It's really nice. And you can double check a few of them, right? So, okay, 90 is 45 times two. And so you can see that now it spans, it's, the maximum's closer to 100, right? Um, oh, another thing too, right? The, actually, the more you work, you probably wouldn't think you're happier, right? So you think, I, I wanna argue anyway uh, in my paper, right? That kind of the, the less that you work, the more time that you have for friends and for family and doing the things that you love, uh, maybe that this is better. Um, I don't know. I guess to technically be true, you'd have to go and see how much do these people like their jobs and whatnot, right? So, so you'd have to really poll people and see, okay, well, do you like uh, your jobs? And this gets very hairy. So I'm going to count this actually negative, right? That the more you work is actually a negative thing. So actually, if this level right here, this is also where I would go ahead, instead of multiplying by two, let me go ahead and multiply by negative two, right? So that way we know that this is going to be taken negatively into account. Again, this is kind of a silly one. And working hours per week, as we saw, was probably one that you don't want to choose for a lot of reasons, including, right, it was hard to find the data, uh, right? It's not exactly clear if it's positive or negative, right? So this is kind of, I, I wouldn't recommend choosing this one. This is really only for this video here. Um, okay, the GDP per capita, right? So this is kind of per person, how much is everyone making in these countries? And so, okay, we see, let's try to find out our maximum again, right? It kind of goes anywhere from like $100, ouch, $100 all the way up to, okay, United States is getting on average 37,000 per person, 1633. All right, so it seems to be the maximum is around uh, 37,000 and change, right? So, okay. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn this, again, I'd like it to be out of 100. So basically, I'm going to do the same calculation that we would uh, to get percentages, right? So I'm going to go ahead and take this uh, number right here, and then I'm going to divide it by the max, right? So in this case, 37,691, I suppose. Uh, and then we get a percentage of that, and you can see that this last one right here, the United States, should be out of, you know, it should be 100%. It's all of that. And it looks like there might be a few decimals here that I didn't exactly take into account. So I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this and just get it as perfect as I can. Okay. So there we go. Now that's exactly out of one. Uh, but I'd like it to be right close to 100, right? So I'm going to go ahead and turn this from decimal form into... Uh, you know, percentage forms. I'm going to go ahead and multiply all of these by 100. And now it looks kind of messy, uh, right, because of all these decimals and whatnot. I think there's a way, yeah, like this right here, right? So this, like, changes the amount of decimals that you have. All right, so now you can see, right, these numbers used to be very big and unruly and whatnot, but now you can see we have a, a percentage out of uh, 37,691 since that was the max. And now you can see that all of these numbers, they range from zero to 100. Uh, and just like these ones right now, the maximum, well, I guess for these ones right here, the maximum was only 90, and we decided to make that negative. 
But again, they kind of go from zero to 100, and then we're counting them negatively, right? Because working hours, I decided that I was going to count this negatively. And you can mess with these weights and whatnot. So let's go ahead and maybe see here what this gives us. Maybe now a, a funner way, I'm going to go ahead and select all of this, and I'm going to go ahead and do another sort. So under data, I'm going to sort... Uh, values of this last column, right? This column M, uh, smallest to largest. Okay. So this says that, okay, Bangladesh would be the least happy uh, according to my two measures. Again, you need to do three, four, five, and you're probably choosing different ones. Again, I really wouldn't recommend this one. Um, but you can see, okay, these people, I guess in Bangladesh, right, they work quite a lot, but again, the average amount of money that they're getting is like $500. So, okay, they're working a lot, but they're not making much. So yeah, they, they have a negative score. Looks like here, the United States comes out on top. Again, kind of all of this has to do with working and making money and s sort of stuff like this. So this is not a very well-rounded measure. Um, but okay, using just these two, right, you can see that, okay, United States is coming out on top. Um, Singapore second, Finland third. So anyway, um, this is the refining and dealing with missing data. So I hope that this has been useful. Again, in my third and final video, we're gonna deal with, okay, uh, now that you have all of your data, making sure that you name your Excel sheet correctly, make sure that it's all the way uploaded to D2L, all that good stuff. So please uh, check back in a little while when I have this third video made uh, and take a look at that. All right, have a great day. I'll see you out there.